Welcome to the iOS Pickup 2022. This is Vegan Tigers from Barrier Vũng Tàu and my name is Lemon Bao. So I'm gonna inform you about a new technology that will develop our green planet. So in the industry 4.0, uh, we have witnessed various uh, scientific breakthroughs from the advent of the internet to many creative inventions like smartphones, uh, laptops, and so on. However, everything had its downside. Along with all of these advanced technology are the factory emissions and car fumes produced daily, causing uh, environmental degradation, global warming, and climate change. Because of that, today we're here to put forward a brand new initiative Introducing artificial meat, aka fake meat. Hello, I am Bin Wook Bin, as you heard from Bao. So, what is fake meat? Uh, fake meat is a food product made from vegetarian or ve uh, vegan ingredients uh, eaten as a replacement for meat. Um, and now, there is one more type of meat, uh, which is called cow's meat or lab grow meat. Uh, of course, we grow in lab. This alternative typically approximates uh, quality of specific type of meat, such as uh, mouthfeel, flavor, appearance, uh, and also chemical characteristics, especially um, the lab grow one. Uh, we choose this technology because of the benefit of consuming fake meat that come from the fact that they could become good source of protein without the carbon footprint of farm animals. Based on data of, from scientists, more than 200 million animals have to die every day just to fit our need a very scary number, isn't it? Hi, my name is Wun, and now I will continue to present to you the history of this technology. It's candidates that land-based meat is no longer surprising in Vietnamese market. And how about culture meat? It looks like that few people, particularly in our nation, aren't familiar with culture meat. Since the 1990s, the public imagination has been captivated by the technical model of meat culture in an industrial context. Mark Post produced the first beef burger in 2013 at Maastricht University. In addition, this marks the public debut of meat culture, of culture meat technical technology, along with the new impetus of new, the new technology development the new generation of substitute meats has arrived on the market in recent years. Replicating hog, beef, or even chicken in look and flavor and comparable recipes, replacement for the meat, animal meat and other plant-based meat is increasing to become a new trend uh, to suit the customer demands while reducing environmental impacts. And I'm Uyên. Uh, now, I'll talk about the impressive impacts of this technology to the environment. Once Ethan Brown, a CEO and co-founder of Beyond Meat, say that meat is basically protein, fat and water. Our game to find all that in plants and resemble it against the architecture of meat. So, how does plant-based meat affect the environment? Well, the answer is extremely amazingly surprising. There is research show that plant-based meat uses 47% to 99% less land than conventional meat, 30% uh, to 90% less greenhouse gases emissions, and uses 72% to 99% less water. Besides, lab pro meat can provide all the nutrients we need without the real animals. Overall, it can be seen that Animal rights are protected because animal meat would not be mass produced anymore, and the risk of outbreak is lower because of fewer animals in confined spaces. Hello, my name is Lang An, uh, as well as Manat List. 
as everyone knows the importance of a green and clean environment is essential for the de development of mankind. After thousands of years of breathing a real life on Earth, people are more and more responsible for doing things to maintain our green planet. Advanced scientific inventions have contributed significantly to the protection of the Earth's green color, natural resources. And with the invention of artificial meat, as we said above, a breakthrough technology far in the field of agricultural science, it is estimated that farm meat produces 80 to 95 percent less greenhouse gas emissions. How amazing! With the idea of the breakthrough in, the, in this planet, we can expect that it would bring an open future for not only the food but also technology industry, environment, health, and especially global sustainable development. And that is the end of our presentation. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to watch for us. We are Team Vegan, Vegan Tigers. And everyone, let's save the environment, save our planet.